Hey G2 Army, Orb here with another G2 month in review for the month of August, so let's get to it. Our League of Legends team finished the month off strong, ending the LEC Summer Split in first place with an impressive 15-3 record. Our stellar performance this split earned us acclaim and ensured our spot at Worlds this October. That wasn't all though, in typical G2 fashion, we ended the month in style against our rivals Fnatic. In an intense best of 5 series, we dug in and fought hard to win the LEC's first ever reverse sweep. With this victory, we secured our place in the LEC Summer Split Finals in Athens, Greece. As you may have heard, we really love teamfight tactics here at G2. Now, we decided to expand our roster and in August, we welcomed a new tactician to our team, Hafu. Hafu has joined G2 as a streamer and content creator and we're beyond excited to welcome her to the G2 army. If you want to learn more about Hafu, check out her introduction video and give her a follow on social media and Twitch. In August, our CSGO team came to Berlin for the Star Ladder Berlin Major. The boys and Pascal kicked off the tournament with a solid 3-1 performance in the new Challenger stage. In the new Legend stage, we got off to a good start beating Navi 19-17 in an intense comeback on Overpass. Then, we went up against the Danish powerhouse Astralis on Nuke where we may have forgotten to, um, you know, defuse the bomb. We faced Renegades in the 2-2 decider match. After an intense best of three, we fell 1-2, ending our run at the Berlin Major. While we didn't qualify for the new champion stage, we secured our spot in the next major, ensuring that we'll be back. The boys will also be coming over to the Mercedes-Benz Arena in Berlin for the champion stage weekend for signing sessions and fan meet. So if you're in the area, please do come and say hi. In August, the team headed stateside to Raleigh for the 6th Major. Looking to defend their last Major title, we came in swinging and going undefeated on a dominant run to the Finals. The Finals couldn't have been more hyped, a rematch between the last Invitational Finalists, us, and Team Empire. In the end, our Russian adversaries proved more formidable and we fell 1-3 in the final, finishing 2nd place with the boys taking home $80,000 in prize money. We were also included in the Rainbow Six Siege pilot program. Our participation means that we get to give the community great G2 branded skins and provide our fans with a great way to support their favorite org. Watch for the drop for this on September 10th. Our sim racing team was at the Sim Racing Expo at the Nürburgring where Keegan and Jarl both raced from the eSport Lounge in an all-star show race broadcast live on US national television. Our racer Keegan is now in the playoffs for the NASCAR season. Despite holding the lead in the first race, he finished in fifth place. Meanwhile, our other racer Jarl Teen is working hard to reach the top 20 and secure his spot in the next year's season. The last race of the season will also be featured live on NBC Sports to so be sure to tune in for that. G2 Esports was out in force at Gamescom this year, where we worked with our partners AOC, Aorus, Paysafe Card, and Logitech G to put on a variety of events and activities for fans and attendees. We held a scavenger hunt where fans could collect items from our partners' booths to win exclusive G2 merch with over 4,000 people participating throughout the event. We also held meet and greets and playing sessions with our Rainbow Six Siege team, Lothar, Box and Lage from Rebel Racing, and Orb, that would be me. And the whole event was a blast, so thank you to everyone for attending and we can't wait to be back next year. Now, if you thought August was a big month, prepare to an even bigger month in September. Now, for League of Legends, we'll be at the LEC Finals in Athens on September 8th for our sixth potential title. So be sure to support us on socials with hashtag G2Win when the matches happen. Our CSGO team will be playing at the ESL1 New York from September 26th to the 29th. And moving over to Rainbow Six Siege, the team will be playing at the DreamHack Montreal from the 6th to the 8th and will also return to our Pro League season on September 16th. Last but not least, we got Rocket League where the team will also be in Montreal for the DreamHack Pro Circuit from the 6th to the 8th. Now that is it for this month, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning in and be sure to follow G2 on all of our social media channels, including Discord and Reddit. And of course, you can catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash orb. Now the last thing to do is drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video later. Bye-bye.